Good morning to you. Welcome to the episode 3 of uh, Ask JC. Ask JC is a Q&A channel that allows you to ask anything on topics from feng shui, folklore, superstition, ba zi, yi jing, face reading, to even western horoscopes and astrology. So every one to two weeks, uh, we will reply some questions from what you have asked, okay, via this uh, so-called channel using Google Form. And I will actually compile the question and answer them via a video. So this week, uh, similarly like the previous episodes, I have uh, selected actually five questions. All right. So let me just uh, start with question one. Okay. So this lady, Joy, actually asked that, does the color of wallet matter? Okay. Some say avoid color like red because it will burn away your money. So of course, is it true or false? First thing first, uh, of course, I personally, personally do not agree of uh, the statement. Uh, the color of wallet actually does not matter. I mean, if this is true, right, then I believe that the uh, big brands, they will stop producing red color wallet, first thing first, okay? And uh, definitely, it's not going to burn away your money if you carry a red wallet. I believe so many thousands and millions of people today all over the world, they have red wallet because it looks good, okay, because it's trendy. And of course, the lady will love it, okay. And of course, um, in tandem to this question, I actually, somebody also asked me via Facebook, uh, is it true that if you have a wallet that uh, false compared to a wallet that is, uh, you know, in this uh, so-called rectangular shape like this, so uh, it's, which is not folded so that your dollars, your notes are actually straight and not folded, um, it will be easier money. Vis-a-vis, -vis, if you have a typical wallet like the one on the left, you have to fold the notes, it denotes, it implies that uh, it's just like somebody, when they want to make money, they have to bend down, they have to slog, they have to work hard. So is this true or not? Of course, uh, you know, many of us, especially the guys here, uh, you know, our father or many, many business people, they also, I saw that they carry the this type of wallet on the left, the one that is folded. And um, I don't see that they became poorer, okay? And of course, this is actually up to individual preference. All right. So I think uh, you are intelligent enough to answer this question. Okay. Uh, okay. Jess, Miss Jess actually uh, wrote in. In fact, um, to ask me about her daughter. She actually posted her daughter's face and showed me that, that she has a mole somewhere near to the eyebrow here. Okay. Which is... Uh, drawn here okay so basically uh, should she remove in the study of face reading actually moles especially protruded ones are deemed as inauspicious okay uh, versus if the mole is flat okay protruded ones are really not very good especially uh, when come to certain age like this okay when you go through the age where it is uh, affecting the eyebrow area or this is also near to the Ming Kong, the Lie Palace area, which is around 20, 28 years old, plus minus. Okay. Uh, she will have to go through a challenge in life. And of course, uh, this mole, if you don't remove every nine years, okay, after the first event has occurred, it will recur again because this is based on our flying palace face reading system. Okay. So, in this, please remove the mole. Nevertheless, um, please tell your uh, so-called doctor to do a good job so that it does not leave behind scar or dents. Otherwise, it is as bad. Okay? Good luck. Ah, this is a very interesting question. Uh, one of my students in class actually asked, I don't have well star in my party. How come I always strike lottery for D? And sometimes I strike like five figure uh, so-called uh, lottery almost every other, other week, you know, every month. 
Wow. <laughs> so I actually requested for the uh, astrology chart, the Vedic astrology chart, because I know that for people to have very strong wind for luck, okay, we have to look into one of the four financial houses in the Vedic astrology chart. And I know that usually the eighth house must have something, okay, very strong. Or otherwise, it should have a lucky planet there. So in this case, this is, okay, just to share with you a bit more. This is the Vedic astrology chart of this student. Okay, so this is the first house, represented by one here. Then second house, third house, fourth house, fifth, sixth, seven, eight. Well, let's look at this house. Eight house represent lottery luck, windfall luck, sudden gain. Okay, the other, um, the other financial houses will be second house that we look at, fifth house for stocks and shares luck, and eleventh house for your personal gain via your business or career. So this is the other house. Some people just have the lottery luck or casino luck sometimes. Okay, so what happened is that I look at the chart and say, oh, yeah, no wonder you have the very good lottery luck because you have the Jupiter here, Ju. So you may wish to plot your own Vedic astrology chart. There are many free software resources available online. Just punch in your own date of birth, uh, your hour and minutes of birth, GMT, where you are born. You are able to generate a chart like this. And please take a look. Do you have a JU here? JU stands for Jupiter. If you have, congratulations. You may want to start to try a little bit of, uh, you know, so-called gambling <laughs> by buying 4D Toto over the weekends. Okay, so eight house, remember, represent windfall and sudden luck. All right, so again, wish you good luck. Question number four, is it okay to stay near temple? Any feng shui implication? So I actually have this picture here. Okay, and there is also a saying that in Chinese, 何知人家常发哭, 门前有个鬼神屋. Meaning, in English, how do you know somebody always cry, maybe went a bit mental, emotional, cry for no reason? Because in front of the house, there is, uh, it, there is a, there's a place of worship. Okay, Gui Sen Wu means place of worship. It can be also a church, a temple. Okay, uh, a, be a bit mindful, especially if you are buying a unit that is immediately facing a temple, especially this part here, this sharp corner here, all right? If you are facing this, uh, it is really, really no good. It's known as a sa qi, okay? It can bring along, for example, litigation, legal problem, injury, surgery, etc. Okay, so is it okay to stay near temple? Uh, I would advise not to, okay, because of the... Uh, extreme uh, so-called yin qi over there. Question number five. Yes, this is a, one of the uh, most popular questions that I get from almost all my clients. Okay, uh, where is my wealth corner, my chai wei at home by uh, Miss Look? So, um, traditionally, the chai wei, okay, is actually talking about Okay, from where you enter, right, your main door here, the furthest corner away from your main door in this compartment here, your living room here, okay, diagonally opposite, okay, the furthest corner here, all right, we call it the tui jiao xian, diagonally opposite corner has been traditionally recognized as the wealth corner, the cai wei, so it is advisable okay that you do not do this you do not install a partition like this to block your chai qi your wealth qi and i have seen that um usually in my second opinion on the feng shui case many people has installed this kind of partition because there is a rumor saying that if you don't install, you know, if you don't install, then when you open the door here, okay, the qi is going to rush through from here 
towards the balcony or windows and then it disappeared. So meaning your money come, money go. And this is actually totally incorrect theory. All right. Oh. So uh, some people call this the chuan tang sha, piercing ho sha. But this is totally uh, incorrect. That's not the way that we look at this. Okay. In fact, if you install a partition here, all right, you are actually blocking the qi from entering. Okay. And if of course the qi cannot, cannot enter, that means your wealth qi also cannot enter and you will start to have some problem later on. Okay, it can be with regard to uh, health or it can be regard with, of course, your career and money. So what is the solution? Do not install. We prefer a circulation space, a little ming tang here. Okay, so that is healthier. All right. So uh, I have completed uh, so-called the five questions. And of course, if you are interested, you can go to the link below to post your question. I'll put this, of course, in the uh, so-called YouTube comment box or on my Facebook uh, so-called page. All right. So uh, just a little bit of announcement. We are going to have our Urban City Yang House Feng Shui program this coming 23rd to 25th March. Two day theory, one day of uh, site visits practical. Okay, we will bring students out just like the previous time, visit houses. Of course, you can volunteer your house so that we can do free uh, feng shui for you. Okay, basically it's for the student to practice, okay, what they have learned, okay. And uh, these pictures are taken from our uh, last year classes. We actually visited, this is the National Kidney Foundation, to understand why during certain years there's a scandal, okay, if you could remember, during certain years there is a scandal because of the immediate landform. So of course we're going to teach you internal landform, looking at the chi uh, at your house, how to set up your stove, lay out your furniture, your bed, okay, learn how to use the flying star system and internal landform system to assess your house. And of course, to understand how to uh, provide a solution to it as well. Uh, besides that, um, I'm also, of course, going to share with you the naked eye system. That means doing feng shui without the need of using the luo pan. So just by standing outside the buildings like this, okay, this is orchard area. Okay, I bring students to Orchard area. We walk down Orchard Road to tell you which building is doing well, which building is not doing well. Okay, and of course, uh, this will help you in case you are looking at a property that you want to purchase or you want to rent to run a business. Okay, so I'll teach you this kind of immediate urban landform. Okay, of course, you see, this is, is actually the house that we went to in the issue to teach you how to take the facing direction. Okay, and how to plot the flying star chart. All right, we will try to cover as many type of houses as uh, possible. Okay, so uh, if you're keen, please email me or Mr. Lester, my program manager at academy at destinyasia.com.sg or visit us at our website, masterfengshui.com or please come and look for me at my Facebook page. Just uh, search for Master Zhou Ching. Of course, with this, uh, I wish you a so-called a very happy Wednesday. Okay, hope you benefit from this video. Thank you very much for your attendance.